Hey people and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be talking about my mod and why it's not out yet. I said it would be released for 1.2 and it will be but the fact of the matter is I was pretty much ready set to release it this weekend actually and 1.2.4 has messed it up because it has changed some things so I'm going to have to wait for a new version of Mod Loader Minecraft Code Pack and Forge again. Yes, that's not exactly what everyone wants to hear. But I've added some new stuff, so look at this. Placeable village buildings. So this is the most basic house. And you get a scroll when you place that. And this is the second house you can put. Just another small house. These are houses you would find naturally in NPC villages. But these houses... They can only be placed in one direction, unfortunately. So, next we've got this tower I built. It's not very good. Well, it's alright, I guess. But we could have a tower level 2 that expands on that. So, so far we've got two houses and a tower. And next we've got the library place, or the librarian's office, or whatever it is. So, put that in here. And this will have an NPC inside. A slime librarian NPC. There you go. You right click on it. It has loads of different random text. May add some to that. May remove some. But this is like almost brick for brick what you would find in an NPC village. But these ones have slime NPCs. So next up is the church. Let's put the church down. Find a spot, and look at that, NPC Village Church, and a slime vicar. Morning vicar, how you doing? There you go. So, normal NPC Villages no longer have slime NPCs, certificates to stay in this patch. And I've actually added certificate AI to these NPCs, so they do breed and things like that. So next up we have, wow. Well, your crop field that you would find in a village. So there you go. Placeable crop fields. And next up we have the well. No village is complete without the village well. There you go. Look at that. And finally I made a hot tub. Because why not? I wanted a hot tub. There we go. That's the hot tub. So I'm still missing the large house and the forge so far, but I did add that tower and a hot tub. So basically, with these normal houses, these two smaller ones, you have a one in three chance of a random villager spawning inside. And there's like seven different types of villagers. And when you get enough houses and stuff they would start breeding making more villages villagers the only thing that sucks is that you can only place the houses in one direction at the moment that's something I may need to work on but I'm not too fussed for now but my friend wanted to actually see this in action so that's why I'm partly doing this as well and to give you reasons why my mod hasn't updated well, it hasn't been released even. It's because 1.2.4 came out just as I was about to release it. Typical. So, I'm not sure how in survival mode I am going to deal with getting hold of these scrolls. I mean, you can't just find these scrolls easily, otherwise it would be pretty annoying. Or the crafting for them has got to be difficult-ish. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do about that, but I added all this in recent days and I think it's rather cool. I don't know what anyone else thinks, but wow, it's pretty good I've got to say. Let's see if we can get some more villagers to spawn. There's another house. It doesn't spawn any gravel path or anything. I mean, I figured people could just do that yourself. Maybe in some of the houses I will spawn a chest with some gravel in so they can make their paths. But as you can see in the 
crafting grid here, we've got a lot of items. That we've got like six, seven rows of items from my mod. You've got sandwiches, armors, weapons, foods, and all kinds of good stuff. So this should be released as soon as a forge recommended build comes out for 1.2.4, I guess. I have no idea how long that's going to take. And I'll pro in the meantime, I'll probably add a few more buildings to this and figure out a way which is fair to craft them or obtain the scrolls. Of course, the scroll will only be a one-time use. I won't. You won't be able to infinitely use the same scroll over and over again because that's be overpowered. But as you can see here, we've already got like a small village going here, and these two are breeding. That's pretty cool. When they breed, the new slime that comes out is just the same size. It doesn't go into a mini slime for some reason, but I'm not too fussed about that. But anyway, this is why my mod hasn't updated yet, and what random stuff I've added. So, if you like, leave a like, and don't forget to comment and subscribe as well. And this will be out as soon as I can pull it out. I mean... I was about to release it and I can't. This is running on 1.2.3 by the way. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and I will be back with a new video shortly. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.